how should marketing teams look at a composable CDP in terms of, you know, delivering that, you know, hyper personalized, you know, one-to-one omni-channel, you know, it's buzzword bingo, I know, (laughs) but like, you know, delivering all those things that customers are increasingly expecting. I think that the the blending of the new CMO as the data-driven CMO is helping accelerate this conversation. I think there used to be a dichotomy between engineering and marketing that caused friction, but I believe that that time, those barriers to entry are starting to fall quickly. We see most of our CMOs who are now hiring data-driven marketing analytics or consumer insights teams to help bridge the gap between you know, the the IT traditional usage of data, which would just be warehouse, and then actually using that data for for activation and for personalization use cases. Yeah. The one thing I will say, and I think that the way that businesses really start to take off and utilize this composable structure is by actually defining the use cases first and then analyzing the data that's necessary to produce that use case. If you'd like to give me an, if you'd like me to give an example, I can. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Great. So we used to always talk about cart abandonment. That used to be like the number one thing that we heard from retailers. Um, but I think that that is a simple use case. Now, if we get to a use case more where Marketers are now starting to build multi-channel journeys, right? That's a big thing, journey orchestration. To run a multi-channel orchestration campaign for a cohort of customers, you are going to need to look at a variety of different data points within within your database. And so if we say now a, a, a cart abandonment program that can be now not just an email after they had abandoned the card. It could be a text message. It could be an in-app SMS. It could be a, a bunch of Facebook ads. It could be a variety of different touch points upon which you may interact with your customer. And once you've decided that that's the journey you want to put them on, you need to reverse engineer all of the data points. So you need to go down and say, okay, I need data out of Google Analytics. I need data out of Twilio. I need data out of our e-commerce platform, like a Magento or something like that. And once you've defined the pieces of those data that you need, that's where marketers can now go to their IT counterparts and say, hey, these are the tables and transactions that I need to be putting into my warehouse so that I can build a, a proper customer 360. And I do believe that it starts on the top level business objective, whether that's acquiring new customers, retaining the existing customers, upsell or cross sell. Once you've decided on those, you can start to figure out where the underlying data is, lives, and where you need it to be to be able to be performant in those use cases.